All right, people, let's start from the beginning one last time. I am a martial artist from 2008 and I was practicing Wing Chun from 2011 to 2014. In this time I was training hard, I did forms, I was testing my Wing Chun in open tournaments and against people from other styles. Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. In today's video let's talk about trapping. So, some time ago I have seen some video where Jeet Kune Do guy says that trapping doesn't work. And he showed two different scenarios, fantasy and reality. And to me both of those scenarios was fantasy and I will try to recreate these scenes now. Boom. So as you could see, first scenario was for favorite for Wing Chun guy because he could do all his techniques, he even had time to do many techniques before he started punching. And the second scenario was for the favorite for the street fighter because his punch was so powerful, so precise that he could finish fighting only two punches or even one. And the truth is that fight is not that easy, not that simple. So this is why I think that both of those scenarios was fantasy. I think that I took this a little bit personally because as you know, I am not a Wing Chun guy anymore. My last Wing Chun training was in 2014, so it was eight years ago. And even now when I do not train Wing Chun, I still using Wing Chun techniques, even trapping. And actually trapping is one of my favorite things. And here I have a story for you. Many years ago when I was in school, my teacher called me to a blackboard and I didn't want to go because I was lazy. So I said, I don't want to go, I cannot do it. And my teacher said, it's not like you cannot do it. You didn't learn it yet. And I think it's exactly like this with trapping. You didn't learn it yet. And here is your decision. You can learn it, you can leave it or do something else. But I think you should not say that something doesn't work just because you cannot do it. But before we go any further, let's talk about trapping. When we talk about blocking, everyone knows what it is. Basically, you have to stop some reaction. But when we talk about trapping, I think not so many people know what it is. And even Wing Chun practitioners sometimes don't know. When I was training Wing Chun many, many years ago, no one explained to me what trapping is. We just train it and drill it a lot because this was part of the style. But the answer for that should be also simple. You should think what trap is and what trap can do. In my opinion, everything is about how you understand trapping. In my way of understanding is that you have to stop, hold or control your opponent and put him to the position what is not comfortable for him, but it's comfortable for you and giving you opportunity to attack. I know that many people think that trapping is when you do Pak Sao Lap Sao Kim or Lap Sao Pak Sao Kim. But this is only half true because this is only two ways of many, many ways how you can use trapping. Because no one says that trapping is only for the arm. So if you follow my way of understanding, you have to put your opponent to position what is not comfortable for him, is comfortable for you and giving you opportunity to attack. So for example, if somebody kick me, I get the leg and I still keep the leg. And this for me is already trapping because I force him to be in the position what is not comfortable for him because he's standing on one leg. I stand on my two legs, I can do much more than he can do. I can punch him, I can sweep him, I can throw him. So for me, this is already trapping. Basically, trapping for me is when you have a control with one arm and you can strike with the second arm. As I said before, many people believe that trapping it is when you do lap so much up here. And this is true, but not really, because this is only one of many, many ways how you can use trapping. And more often you can see a single trap, which looks like this. And this is how it would look in the real fighting situation. And you can see this many times in MMA. They just 
take the gun down and hit somebody or do like this something like this you know and this is also trapping but no one call this trapping because this doesn't look like this when you follow my way of understanding what trapping is this is just trapping putting him into the position where he don't want to be there and make opportunity for you to strike so for example when he punch just get the contact boom it's kind of blocking but not really because when you think about blocking think about this cut the blocks when you talk about parrying is this kind of soft like moving away and trapping is kind of blocking but different type of blocking because you get in contact and block him in this way that you force him to make a decision what he wants to do now. He can fight me back with the second arm. Normal reaction is that when somebody grab you, you want to remove the grip. So he can be focused about this arm or just fighting me back. And everything is dependent about his fighting skills. And also this can be like, you know, when he have a guard on, I cannot hit him because he have a guard. So I want to just uncover my target to hit it. You can also see this in Muay Thai. You know, they stand in like this and boom. It's also trapping. I have a contact, I uncover my target. How you can call that? For me, this is trapping also. This all fancy stuff, this is just a training method to teach you how to Go out from position what you don't want to be. So for example, if you call him here, then I go boom. This is this is why they do all this fancy stuff. This is just to get some muscle memory and habits and way to go out from the position what you don't want to be. Let's talk about defense. You can defend yourself in many ways. You can attack, you can block, you can parry, you can dodge, and you can clinch, and probably more. And in my opinion, in trapping, you can combine most of them together. And I think that trapping it is some kind of bridge between striking and grappling because you can keep a contact and still punch. Okay, let's try to mix something up and combine some of those techniques. So for example, blocking an attack. Ooh, single trap. Parrying. My favorite parrying technique is when somebody hit, I just go So here we have the same. Parrying blocking attack. You have to remember that trapping is not only blocking like this, pushing like this, or try to lock your opponent in this position. Trapping is also when you grab something, hold something, pull something. So I did few times in my sparring something like this. When I was holding one hand and I was hitting the second one. You can do it. Dodging. For example, when he is punching me, then I dodge and I can grab. Boom, boom. So, this have a dodging, grabbing attack. You have to remember that it's not only pushing, this can be pulling, something like this. And what more? Uh, clinching. The theory of the clinch is that I take in away his weapons so he cannot hit me with full power. But it's only theory because some people can be extremely dangerous in this position. So I would not use trapping here because I don't know how, but I could use trapping to get to this position. We know this technique from wrestling or another grappling styles. You have an arm drive because remember you can also hold, pull or something like this. So boom. here I have a nice frame and here I can stay here, I can punch him or go for the throw, we can be creative. And this was just examples what you can and how you can mix them up and what I mean when I say that trapping is a bridge between striking and grappling because I can grab, I can punch, I can push, I can punch, I can go close because I have a contact. This is what trapping is, not this thing what you can see on internet. This is just a training method to teach you what you can do when you are trapped. So for example, he is here, he pushing me down, then I try to release myself. This is the trapping what you can see on internet. This is just training method. And my point is that you can be creative and if you understand what trapping is, then 
you can make it work but you have to just train and know what you are doing to me it's really funny that you know which of people who selling trapping as this thing and for example in Krav Maga they also do trapping but they show it is differently and people think it's super cool because they do like you know you see what's happening I was holding him all the time this is what trapping is but you know when you see Krav Maga they were super aggressive were super cool super deadly but in Wing Chun they see something like this and they think it's not realistic but this is realistic for some people but you know everything is how you want to sell it and to me both of those things is the same but they just look different because the people want to make this look different and the problem is that not all Wing Chun people do sparring this is the problem because if you spar then you know how to use your techniques when you don't spar then you can just believe that those techniques magically going to work but in the most of the time doesn't and you can see this on internet everywhere where Wing Chun get asked but saying that something doesn't work just because you cannot do it I think is kind of me. Okay, slowly I have nothing more to say about this, so soon you have to finish. And I do not say that trapping is the best thing in the world, so now you have to leave with your martial art and be focused only on trapping. No, I do not say that. I just saying that trapping is not that bad, it's okay, and it's not completely useless how many people think it is. And if you train enough and you're good enough and you know how to use it, you can use it. And this is it. Thank you for watching, see you next time.